Hey guys, Sean from She's In Her Element. Thank you so much for joining me today. I found this gorgeous little console set on Facebook Marketplace for an absolute steal. And today I'm gonna give it an extreme makeover. A real Cinderella story, a boring to beautiful transformation. So don't go anywhere. I know you're not gonna wanna miss this one. I'll see you in the studio. In order to find the real deals and sales on Marketplace, you have to be able to get on there often and check multiple times a day. Deals and freebies will go super fast, so hesitation is not an option. During one of my daily checks, I saw this entryway console table and mirror, and it was only 20 bucks. I messaged her immediately, letting her know that I wanted to purchase this. She was 40 minutes away. We made a plan to meet up and get it. I grabbed Scott. We zipped down, picked it up, and brought it home. There's nothing spectacular about these pieces, but they are in solid condition, and I absolutely love the curves of the mirror. Now, I think I can really bring this to the next level with some paint and a few wonderful techniques using things I already have in my studio supplies. That's gonna keep my costs down and my profit high, and that, my friends, is the name of the game. For the color, I'm thinking either blue or green. <laughs> you know me in decisions. I'm having a love affair with both colors at the moment, so I am still deciding. I also think that I can amp this up with some molded embellishments. I wanna add some to the mirror and to the console itself. So, while I'm drafting the details in my mind to this project, I'm gonna give both pieces a good cleaning using my white White Lightning by Dixie Bell, and then I'm going to give it a rinse with some good old water to remove any residue left behind. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the Against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way I went old school with my iced coffee and wrapped it in tin foil like we used to do for field trips back in the day. Yeah, I'm that old. <laughs> so good. Um, so after cleaning this, I've discovered a few things. One, this is not a solid walnut piece. It does have some hardwood components to it, but it also has some press board material on there as well. See how that wiggles? To tighten that. Well, upon inspection, and yes, Auntie, I know exactly who I look like right now. There's no screws in these. That's why it's loose. Check this out. Nothing holding it in place. Wow. All right, we'll fix that. 
I'm going to assess the damage on this piece. I know the top needs to be repaired. Um, the front seems to be solid. However, I am noticing on the sides there's some separation. So I'm going to get some glue in there and clamp that, bring it back together nice and tight. And I also noticed it appears someone has a dog and they've done a little chewing on the bottom here. I'm going to have to build this out a bit because of the detail that the edge has, but I'm pretty confident I can do it and make it look just like this corner. So let me get this going because this mud is going to have to set up for the night. It's going to look so much better when I'm done. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Using my amazing casting resin, I am going to start making some embellishments for this piece. I don't want too many, but I do want to add some to the front of the piece, definitely adding the beadwork to the bottom. I also want to make some king plates for the existing poles that are there. I think that's going to bring it to the next level. I also want to craft a keyhole for the larger drawer on the bottom. I think that would look really, really good. And then on that back piece there, I want to add some embellishments as well. I'm going to add some to the mirror, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to add it to the mirror itself. I think I have a really great plan in place for what I want to do to the mirror, and I don't want to change too much of it. I just want to really bring out the beauty it already has. So this did take the better part of the day because I only have one mold per design, and I needed to make multiples of each of those molds. But a day in my studio is a really good day. And today was an exceptional day because a thunderstorm rolled through and cooled things off nicely. Sunshine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of.
everything is hardened and cured and using my handy dandy contour sanding kit from Amazon. You guys, affordable, so worth it. Check down below. I'll include the link. I earn nothing, just a great product. Um, but using that, I am going to go at that corner I had to repair and see if I can bring its details back to the original state. I kind of knew better doing this repair. My gut kept telling me to use Bondo, and I was like, no, I'll use this and it'll work. And bam, it didn't work. So now I'm going to mix some Bondo up and get it on there and go from there. I knew better. I totally knew better. My fault. While the Bondo's setting up, I am going to get some primer on my mirror frame, and then I'm going to actually get my gorgeous paint color on there. I made a decision, and I can't wait to show it to you. It is absolutely perfect and beautiful. And by the way, these little stands are absolutely fabulous. You can put just about anything on there, and it lifts it off the surface so that you can paint it all the way to the edges and not make a mess. I'm going to use my bin primer and a chip brush that I can throw away when I'm done. Not really worried about this coat of paint on there. However, when it comes to the finish of this piece, I do want it to be really smooth and perfect and beautiful. So the brushes will get better as we go. But for now, I'm just going to use a chip brush and toss it. If you're not confident in your edging skills without using tape or something, here's a little cheat. Take a little piece of paper, fold it in half, make it a nice sharp edge. You can slide it right underneath and go as you go. I don't really use one. I'm pretty confident with my lines, but it's great for those that are a little bit nervous. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart. No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all I'm using a nice smooth finish brush for this coat. This is going to help my final coats look amazing. I'd rather jump and risk the fall. I see no limits in the sky. No little by little here. No, no. Got stuck on working on myself. I was wrong and needed help But I'm just different something else No little by little here Cause I get my oh, 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 oh No little by little I pour out my heart oh, oh, oh. No little by little I love using Fusion Mineral Paint. It is so easy to work with. It's a fabulous product. It gives you a beautiful end result. Wonderful, wonderful investment. And this color is to die for. Like, shut the front door to die for. This blue is out of this world. I love it. I'm totally obsessed. 
I say that about every color, but I am totally obsessed with this color. I'm going to get two coats on this mirror, but I'm going to let the first coat dry thoroughly before applying the second. Remember the aggravation it'll cause if you don't. I swear, I'm going to give my all because I don't care. Quick question because inquiring minds want to know, but does anybody else hold their breath when they're painting detailed lines or is it just me? Because like I have to tell myself to breathe and I gasp every time I'm done cutting a nice straight line in, but every single time I'm holding my breath. I can't be the only one, right? There's more of you out there that do that. Please tell me that I'm not the only one. <laughs> With two coats on the mirror, I now want to get primer on all the rest of the pieces. I want to let everything sit for the night so that the rest of it is ready for me to put paint on it tomorrow. And also the mirror will be ready for its next step. There's a method to my madness. Everything has to cure in its own time. I'm doing this for a reason. So getting my primer on everything and I'm going to call it a night and I will resume tomorrow. And being myself, I swear, I'm going to give my all because I don't care. Before I continue on with this amazing transformation, I want to take a moment and thank today's video partner, Rolling Dog. Rolling Dog has been a valued sponsor of this channel for a while thanks to their quality made and affordable painting tools and equipment. From brushes to drop cloths and everything in between, I can always count on Rolling Dog to get the job done. Rolling Dog is focused on the design, function, and affordability of their products. And I'm impressed with the attention to detail they pay from concept and prototype to the end product. You've seen me use my multi-tool in every single video since I got it. This is the most sought after tool in my studio and the one I reach for every single day. I literally cannot recommend this product enough. My signature series two and a half inch angled brush is equipped with fine tip SRT synthetic filament that has been machine roughed for maximum paint retention and more control upon release. I love everything from the handle down to the bristles of this brush you can feel the quality every time you use it oh one of my favorites and then there's the triple threat these brushes are perfect for chalk paint and blending quality brushes ergonomically made to fit comfortably in your hand for all your projects which is a really big deal if you've got a brush in your hand all day trust me you can see and feel the quality these affordable must-haves bring to the table literally I have included the links below for those three amazing products. Check them out for yourself. You won't be sorry. I promise you will love these brushes. You can also check them out online, rollingdogtools.com. Be sure to pop on those links below and see for yourself. And once again, I want to thank Rolling Dog so much, as always, for being a partner with my channel and keeping my studio equipped with quality products that make the job a whole lot easier to get done. Now it's time to get this gorgeous blue on my piece. I can only describe this color as the Atlantic Ocean off a of Cape Cod in the middle of summer. It is just the prettiest color blue I have 
ever, ever seen. I really am obsessed. So two coats. Um, the first coat's going to go on with my rolling dog brush. The second coat, I am actually going to use a roller with a very, very fine nap. I want a mirror-like finish. I want everything smooth. I really want the end result to be a very polished look. I'm going to let all these pieces sit and cure, and I am going to bounce back over to the mirror that has already been painted with its two coats. It's been sitting for 24 hours. It's completely cured and ready for the next step. What I envision on this mirror is this center half round detail that goes around the entire frame. I see that in gold leaf. So I am going to apply my gold leaf just to that section there. I want very precision lines. I'm going to use tape where I can. Some of the curves are too much, so I'm going to rely on my steady hand and eye, but I'm going to get my gold leaf medium on there, let it sit and get tacky, and then get all the gold leaf on there. I cannot wait to see my vision all complete. La belle Let's take a peek back at the before and now the after. This piece started as a solid but drab console set with its unflattering 1960s walnut finish. Keeping it simple yet elegant was the goal and I am happy with the end result. This blue is stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous and it pairs perfectly with the gold leaf. The details on this piece now give it the character it was lacking from the beadwork on the bottom to the gorgeous additions to the backsplash. I absolutely love this transformation. And the mirror's delicate details tie in nicely, making this a stately console set that now boasts a blend of elegance and functionality that will effortlessly complement any space. It's more than a piece of furniture now. It's a statement complementing your taste, style, and decor. What do you think of the transformation? If you love it, give this video a like and tell me what your favorite part is. When upcycling furniture for a profit, it's all about the deals and the steals. This was $20 and I knew the mirror alone was worth more. This set will now list for $200 and my profit margin will be over 80%. If I can do this, so can you. As always, thank you for choosing to spend this time with me and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye guys. Love, 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 oh, oh.